Hello, Cappies. I hope you had a great relaxing weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Cappies, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, the universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages. Oh, this one wants to be extra, very important. Let's see, the universe, please show us what's coming up for Cappies in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Cappies in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey. This is you feeling confused about something that you feel you need to make a solid decision on. Like you need to do something, take action, but you are confused. Ah, it has to do with your job. Yeah. Yeah, you look like you are working in a chaotic environment and you feel you don't belong there. You feel drained. You feel confused because there's a great level of mismanagement going on where you work yeah so people in charge are really uh not really maybe they feel overwhelmed maybe they're not paying attention but there's a great level of mismanagement and what happens when there's mismanagement of people resources there's loss of money there's chaos there's drama instability yeah Ooh, there, it's worse than I thought. So there's a lot of drama going on. This is not five of wands. This is five of swords, which is more severe. So people in higher positions are fighting with themselves for power. You see this? There's a lot of drama, uh, things that you're not aware of behind your back, hidden from you. Uh, it looks like uh, some people will leave on its own. Yeah. And you are one of those people who is thinking of leaving. You don't feel you're, you don't belong there. You are correct. You don't belong in that chaotic environment. So if you're questioning it, that means you don't belong there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to see very clearly what you need to do. This is you're trying to figure out how to handle this chaotic situation at your work correctly and whether to leave or not. You're going to have to make a decision for yourself. Nobody can make that decision for you. You have to make that on your own, right? Universe, please show us. I mean, yeah, people can advise you, but only you know what's best for you, Cappies. Because you're the one in this situation dealing with it on a regular basis. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cappies and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? You love your job, though. You love what you do. You have passion for what you do. But even your job is becoming boring to you because of the toxic environment that you're in. Yeah, you see, you have days where you feel you can stay there and it's going to be okay. And then you have days where something unpredictable, chaotic happens and you feel like you're losing control over things that you need to go. You feel unbalanced, unstable there. Yeah, look how unbalanced you feel there. Emotionally affected negatively by their drama. Be careful because some of those people already gossiped about you. You see this? They don't have your back. Remember, your coworkers, your bosses are just your coworkers. They're not your friends. Never mix business with pleasure. Remember, they are just your coworkers. They're not your friends. Yeah. For some reason, this wants to show up face down. I don't know why. Yeah, you see, there's something hidden from you on purpose um, by these people. Something is being hidden from you and others on purpose. But if you really pay attention, keep your eyes and ears open, you're going to see writing on the wall, so to speak. You're going to see what's really going on. You want to be emotionally fulfilled and you don't feel emotionally fulfilled at that place of employment. You feel exhausted. You feel drained. You feel bored. You feel, yeah. Ooh, there's a lot of drama, a lot of gossip going on. This is worse than I thought. Five of swords and five of wands together at your job. Yeah. Negative energy, negative people showing up here. Chaotic people who are into gossip, jealousy, drama. 
Look how tired you feel. You feel exhausted because of the negativity. You see, don't let negative people affect you. It looks like you're going to have to find a new place of employment, which is going to be much better for you than this one. Yeah, you are being affected negatively, emotionally drained mm -hmm, by the behavior. And yeah, you see, something is being hidden on purpose. This is deceit, betrayal, lies, deception. You see this? Seven of Swords. You know, if you show us, Huh, what's coming up for Cappies? How is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? Look how powerful you are. You can manifest whatever it is you want to manifest in your life. Oh, you're doing other people's jobs. I'm actually not surprised to see this, Cappies. You have so much to offer. You are so diligent. You are so fabulous at what you do. It's falling on your competent hands unfinished workload from other people who are too busy gossiping and being on social media uh, and creating chaos is uh, unfortunately um, landing on your competent hands. It's not fair to you, Cappies. Yeah, you shouldn't have to be doing other people's work. You're only getting one paycheck. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing other people's work. No. Look how they projected their insecurities onto you. This is how they made you feel. At times you question your own sound judgment when you shouldn't. You see this? You feel depressed over there. It's time for you to go. Yeah. Ooh, again, five of swords, just like we saw minutes ago. You see this? This is uh, very alarming to see this twice in the same spread. Five of swords, five of swords next to five of cups. This is how they make you feel. It's time for you to go. Find something first that you feel comfortable with. Accept that position, job, place of employment, or new way of doing business. Then leave on peaceful terms. Yeah, don't let negative people affect you. It's not fair to you, Cappies. You have too much to offer to be in a chaotic environment like that. Sorry about the noise. They're just sweeping, uh, blowing the um, cut grass. Yeah, it will just take a... A minute or maybe less than a minute um let's see what's going on with the soulmate that you've been dealing with they didn't even show up uh, so this place of employment when you where you work is draining you so much your soulmate didn't even show up in your reading let's see so your main concern right now is your work environment uh, the job that you do is not the problem it's the environment the chaotic toxic environment the drama that people create that is the problem universe you should now if you could work from home that's even better some of you already work from home but the drama is so great it's affecting you negatively as well and we we'll show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of cappies that cappies have been dealing with and how is that soulmate of cappies towards cappies at this time especially emotionally This was a serious relationship that you were in with this soulmate, Cappies. It was a serious relationship. It wasn't some kind of frivolous dating. Yeah, it was a serious relationship that you were in with this person. Wow, this person is going through a lot of emotional roller coasters. They're not able to release you, let you go. So they want to come towards you, but they're so scared of your rejection. Yeah, look, I would say petrified of your rejection. This person is very scared of your rejection and judgment. They feel blocked. They haven't been communicating with you effectively. They haven't been listening. They haven't committed in a healthy way. You see this? They are very guarded emotionally, feeling defeated, sad, alone. They're going through a lot emotionally. I'm sorry, both of you are going through so much. Yeah, this is tough. They realize how different you are from others that they've been with. You shine in a crowd of many. They finally give you the credit that you deserve. Yeah. They had to lose you, though. Or feel like they're losing you to finally recognize your worth value. Hmm. You know, we show us what is going on currently with that summit of Cappies that Cappies have been dealing with. Yeah, they've been waiting to see what you're going to do. And they realize they need to be reaching out to you. 
Yeah, they very slow to action. Very slow. They love you a lot. This person's in love with you, but they need to show that love. Express it. Yeah, verbalize it. Prove it to you through actions, not just feel it. Look how deeply heartbroken. This is the worst card in the whole deck. This shows me that this person betrayed your trust. Yeah, and they regret it deeply. So whether they were unfaithful or hid something from you of great significance, whatever it was, it was of serious nature. And they feel it wasn't worth losing you over. Because when you add these swords, four and three makes it seven of swords. This is the worst card in the whole deck. Heartbreak. They feel emotionally devastated over losing you and they still love you. So that makes sense. If they didn't love you, they wouldn't feel so heartbroken, devastated. But because they're in love with you, they feel devastated, heartbroken over losing you. They've made some serious mistake and they regret it deeply. They lost you because of that mistake. You are showing up here as fabulous Empress energy, highly vibrational, person of high quality. They recognize your worth finally. They finally recognize your worth value. Yeah. They respect you greatly. They're still holding on to you for dear life. They miss you. This is them missing you, being sad. They're so scared of your rejection. They're showing up twice as Knight of Swords, the most guarded emotionally knight. All these swords, 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 swords showing up here. This is them being in their head a lot overanalyzing, worrying excessively to exhaustion, being scared that this is over. They realize they didn't put work into this. Yeah, they realize that mm -hmm, that uh, they are at fault. So that's a good sign, right? Because we all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect, including me. But we need to acknowledge those mistakes in order to handle them correctly and learn from them, right? This is them seeing very clearly what they did wrong. The question is, what will they do about it to fix it, right? Universe, please show us. What is going on currently with that soulmate of Capis? Ooh. So they know they need to be brave to approach you. They need to be very brave to approach you because they feel you most likely are going to reject them, say no to them. Um, new soulmate popping up in your life. So it looks like uh, you are meeting a new person of quality. Someone... Um, that you're going to feel connected with through work, whether it's through your work or the new soulmate's work. Somehow work will connect the two of you co together. Yeah, you know the new soulmate from past lifetimes, obviously. That's not a shock, right? Yeah, the soulmate that you're letting go of wants so badly to approach you with communication but they need to communicate. They can't, they shouldn't be waiting for you to reach out to them. They need to be the ones proving themselves to you. Remember, Cappies, you have free will to decide whether you want this person back in your life if they prove themselves to you through actions, of course, or if you want a new soulmate or be alone for a while. Cappies, that's totally up to you. You have free will to make those decisions for yourself. We're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that just showed up. A six of cups with three of wands. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life. The Six of Cups, Three of Wands, Energy, New Chapters, New Beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Cappies, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.